everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we have the brand new limited edition Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Forever, which has just come out to review. So I'll be letting you know what this smells like, how it differs from the original and what I think of it. If you're new here, then hi, welcome. We're all about perfumes. I have done a video on the Light Blue, blue range before. I'll leave that link down below about some of the other flankers and the original versus the intense version. Um, so do check that out if you haven't already and of course I'll leave the links down below in the description box to where you can buy this perfume in the UK, Europe, USA. Just check it out down below and if you are a regular but you haven't subscribed yet then do hit that subscribe button and show your support and show your support on Patreon as well. Cool, so basically every year the light blue range has a new flanker, a new limited edition. These come and go every year, they are pretty good at them actually being limited editions and they do disappear so in sort of six months time this will be quite hard to find in a year to 18 months it will be almost impossible to find so they do genuinely not last that long I know a lot of limited editions end up staying around for years so this year for 2021 it's called forever they always do the limited editions in the woman's fragrance and the men's so this is the woman's one so Dolce & Gabbana light blue original is a very well-known perfume of course a pretty good seller it's a very light as the name suggests fresh to me vacation type perfume or very hot weather perfume summertime perfume the adverts are always these beautiful models lounging around in you know the coast of italy amalfi coast capri or something in, in incredibly hot weather and um, because the fragrance is very refreshing the original is very lemony and then it has a quite aquatic oceanic sense to it like being out on the water but also smelling the lemon trees the original eau de toilette is not amazing for lasting at all i always recommend the intense version so i was really pleased to see that this new limited edition is an eau de parfum not an eau de toilette and i have found that it definitely performs better than the original eau de toilette does in terms of the smell the fragrance itself and how it differs to the original so as far as the different flankers go each year sometimes they're very different to the original sometimes they're similar i'd say this is a more similar than, than dissimilar um lemon is definitely the main note like it is with the original um and it really really is a proper lemon sometimes lemons just smell like generic citrusy this genuinely does smell like picking up a lemon and smelling it and it lasts through the length of the fragrance when i first sprayed it in the initial few seconds what it actually got was a floral note um it has orange blossom in and a sort of white floral almost like a jasmine in the summertime smell so my initial reaction was oh it's a floral version that's different and that is still lasting through but after about 10 20 seconds then this lemoniness came through the fragrance notes say that it has a blood orange in here i don't really get blood orange because i'm a huge fan of blood orange i don't really get it i get lemon so probably it's mixed in there but the lemon is the one that is really dominating from those citrus notes it definitely sells, smells fresh um, for me this reminds me of one of the flankers from the past that was quite floral it kind of smells like walking in a Mediterranean country with those pink flowers that they have and um, that grow in that kind of climate so you get a, a sense of the greenery the floraliness but also this fresh lemony scent so I, I really like the smell of this I think it is a really nice way of combining citrus with a hot weather floral the base notes talk about cedar and musk i don't get those at all i get the floral and i get the lemon so in terms of lasting i think the problem with original light blue eau de toilette is that it really is known for not being good at lasting um this definitely is stronger but i have to say i've been wearing it today and i found that it ha isn't in insanely good at lasting either even though it's an eau de parfum um, it's definitely stronger has stronger projection but if i was wearing this i'd want to be topping this up maybe every three or four hours taking it with me um it's not the kind of fragrance that's going to be super heavy and last all day but i guess 
in a hot climate you don't want something like that you want something that's light and refreshing so it's not as light as the original because of those floral notes but it's still a very refreshing light perfume and i really like the fragrance i like the combinations of the smells i just wish it was way stronger because it is a beautiful fragrance combination it's a lovely combination they've created here if you have the original or the intense or even the flankers from the past you could of course layer it with them and um, this would be ideal for layering on top of other floral perfumes you know perhaps you have an orange blossom perfume like Ellie Saab or Armani My Way you could then add this to add a bit of a lemony summery feel to it um, so this could very much be one of those perfumes that you use on top of as well as an other perfume you to make it a bit more fresher and summerier when the weather's hot so guys let me know have you tried this yet what do you think of it which is your favorite from the light blue range is this your favorite let me know in the comments down below i do read all your comments and like i said in the description box i'll link where you can buy this in europe and the usa but that's it guys so thanks so much for watching as always and i will see you in the next video bye